Quarterback has the ball, fades back. There's the throw. He's got it. He's going down the line. That's yes. it. It's a oh! Hello? Mr. Arjun? Yeah? Your package in your name has been seized by Mumbai Customs. It contains fake passports and illegal items. You are under investigation. What? I never sent any package, sir. Then how do we have your name and other details? Check WhatsApp. I just sent the official notice. This is serious. You must come to Mumbai Customs Office or you can pay Rs. 50,000 for pre-investigation clearance. Don't custom officers digitally sign the notice? There is no such signature here. Government seal and senior officer signatures are already there. Government seals and signatures can be simply copy-pasted. Government officials usually digitally sign their notices. See Arjun, I understand why you are doubting us. This is the current problem in India. But we are not scammers. If you want, I can come on a video call. Yes, this is exactly what scammers do. They set up a fake customs office and do video calls to scam. No, I don't trust. Have a look. Official government ID card. <laughs> Maybe you used AI to create this ID card. Can you at least send me a digitally signed SMS? You can easily do that if you have Zorki signed. No, 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 no. This is urgent. Either pay now or face legal action. Fine. I am sending an ID verification request through Zorki Sign's bot to your number. What Zorki Sign? Enough with your stupid questions. You think this is a joke? I trust only digitally signed IDs. And I have Zorki Sign's bot to verify it. Either prove your ID through Zorki Sign's bot or find someone who doesn't use digital signatures. Scammers can fake documents, voices, and even faces. But they can't fake a cryptographic digital signature. Zarki Sign Spot. Trust, but verify.